Greetings and welcome, everyone. It's All You Can Geek Gamecast, episode 388. I'm one of your hosts, Jim Gast, joined by Tony Korkanakis. Yo! Mike Sneedy. What's up? And Corey Feinstein. Wow, I almost messed myself up. Bring on the pain. I don't know. Uh, Let's do this. Yeah, welcome listeners, welcome viewers to the Gamecast. We have um, a little bit of movie news, uh, movie news, game news this week. Uh, and as I tease on the movie cast, I got ahead of myself in my words there. Uh, we have a topic to talk about tonight, uh, which we're going to get into. Um, but we're going to first go over this news and then we'll get into what, we, what we've been up to and then start the topic. So uh, I just want to kick it off right away because we've got a lot to talk about with that. Um, Let's start with the Marvel has had unreasonable constraints when marketing the MVC Infinite. That that story came out. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, and what were the well, um, constraints? It's like certain characters and stuff. Basically, it's only from one guy. So take it or leave it. It's one source. But this guy was working on. He's like competitive. He's in the fighting game community, and he had to like execute combos for their certain videos they wanted to promote. And he said. <laughs> quote unquote working with Marvel is a fucking nightmare. Hmm. And part of the reason was that they didn't want any footage of Capcom characters landing combos on any of their Marvel characters. Because they would he didn't want them to look weak wow. or something. Uh, that's really most I've of heard that what actually. He said, yeah, I the second but... time I've heard that actually. Yeah, because so you said that like the promotion the promotional materials leading up to the release, it was like weird and awkward. Yeah. And yeah. that's probably it. I mean, so, I don't know. We, that's what we heard. I don't know what else beyond that, but I think it has to be more than just that for him to call it a yeah. nightmare. Yeah, it has to be more, but I'm sure there was a, but, lot, of, a lot of constraints. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's so, I mean, that game definitely was a disappointment. And, uh, yeah. again, this is like, make your own studio, like, if you're going to be... <laughs> well, no, whatever. I mean, we're going to get into that in terms of uh, EA shortly, but, um, yeah, I mean... W- w- it's again i think them offloading this to 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 focus on something else why would you start your own studio though like i just don't see why you would open a new studio and get into the more expenses and stuff when you have somebody else that can make the game and wants to like they want you to give them this game and will you know probably get some sort of extra kickback creating a studio is expensive it's why you don't see it you never see this yeah it's 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 all triple a triple a studios aren't opened anymore really right exactly yeah yeah not so, uh, you know, I mean, as 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 we got here with EA uh, hiring for an open world Star Wars game still, and after this is after the Battlefront fiasco, um, they're looking. They're still obviously they kept the licensing here. Um, yeah. You know, Disney's giving them one more shot, I guess. Um, but you know, I mean, that's, they, they just don't want to do it themselves. They don't. So. And yeah, you know, I mean, we're going to get another Capcom game, I'm sure. Uh, mm-hmm. I think we will after this Infinite, because the Infinite is being left off of. Um, Again, off of the um, fight thing. Evo. Evo, yeah. yeah. It's, it's not on there. And... It just, I don't know. It seems like games are like the furthest thing from like Disney's, like on Disney's priority list that's like the bottom. Yeah, because yeah. they don't, I mean, they don't care. They they care about toys. They they want to sell toys. Yeah. Yeah. Which, by the that's way, uh, that you reminded me of the Toys R Us news last week. I went to one and it was just stupid i'm not even gonna show up until it's 40 percent. it's off. just yeah, it's stupid like, gotta wait a few weeks <laughs> i went there and they had five percent off a of lego five percent which is nothing which is not because they're over I, anyway like i get that scared, daily yeah. yeah you're right i get that daily <laughs> at target with my red card uh yeah. on any lego and they're also 20 dollars cheaper at target right so you're like this is why that store i, I went and looked at these prices i'm like this is why the store is closing it, it's mm-hmm. they had unreasonable prices on all of their products like, why would you go there and buy them? It's more of like a just showpiece. Go in and mm-hmm. see the toys you want to buy. Yeah. Pop on Amazon. By the way, no, pop... I mean, they didn't change with the times. Like, that's mm. what's unfortunate. Is no. They still stuck to their whole, we're a toy store and we're going to have inflated prices. You're going to come for the experience of being in the toy store. But it doesn't... That's novel. No. That's novel. Yeah, Not it's anymore. Cares. Yeah. When you can buy a pop figure for $7 on Amazon, that's $12 in the store. Well, less than 10%. It's still more expensive. Mm-hmm. So, yep. um, yeah, well, hey, hey, 11 bucks for, or 10 50, 10 50 for a pop figure. You can buy for seven bucks on Amazon when you scan it. I'm just in there scanning things. I'm like, this is, and then you see the lines of people just buying stuff that I realized though. Well, I, no, I realize a lot of them are getting rid of their gift cards and buying good stuff. still that's left in the stores. That's what they're doing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, you have the gift cards. You might as well spend them. You didn't buy the gift cards. So, you know what I mean? Like it's not the best value, but it's buying stuff you want before it's gone. Yeah. yeah you know, yeah. so. Uh, but yeah. Anyways, um, mm-hmm. did, did you the the Toys R Us founder died? 
Yeah, I know. At 94, yep. right after this happened? Yep. Right after I the mean, liquidation started. Yeah. Yeah. So. So, Blockbuster founder so. also passed away. <laughs> Yeah, I, that's. I mean, it's right away. I mean, it's like so close, like tied to this. It's unbelievable. But uh, anyways, the last bit of um, gaming news we have is called. Did, call- did uh, the CEO of uh, Facebook pass away? No, unfortunately. <laughs> Not yet. He's uh, going to show up in court or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 remaster is in the works, as we know. Uh, the rumor here is that it's going to be single player only. Does that make so any sense to the anybody? dumbest shit ever. No. Like, I don't even understand... I like I could see the flip side like if it's multiplayer only. Sure. I could totally see Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Totally see that. Yeah, the rumor here is going to be that it's going to be like $30 only. It's going to be, you know, $25 How do you or $30. even charge that much for it cuz it's going to be like a 3-hour experience. I don't know. Yeah, I don't I don't know. I don't know, but I think it's ridiculous. To, I was like, wait. If it was like a right? throw in with the like pre-order of the next game, yeah. I could understand sure, it, but Sure. Sure. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't make sense. No, I don't it doesn't make sense to me, but All right. Uh, that's really it for news. Um, we have a topic coming up right after what we've been up to. It's about, um, well, games as a service or unfinished games launching and getting kind of changed afterwards. And is this a, is this like good practice, obviously, in the video game world? Uh, we mentioned it on the movie cast as well. Like we talked about that with movies coming out. You can't change movies, and that's the big difference here. Uh, games can well, be Well, you can delay them. You can. <laughs> you could delay them. You could do reshoots, and you could do extended cuts. You could, yeah. Well, I mean, look at all those cuts. people that are like, "I want the Snyder Cut of Justice League." Yeah, I know. It Have you seen exist. pictures of that? Like, there, there was actually like a petition where people showed up and held a sign. I swear to God, it looks like that thing from um, that scene from uh, Arrested Development, where with all the magicians, and it's like, "We demand to be taken seriously." Yeah, I, it's you know unbelievable. What I'm about? No, I've seen. I, 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 I kind of have an idea. Yeah. Um. Anyways, uh, so we have um. Yeah, anyways, so that's coming up, but let's get into what we've been up to. Uh, I'll kick us off. Um, I've played um, Kirby, the new Kirby game on Switch. Uh, and uh, I gotta say, the game looks really nice, but it has some frame rate issues, like massive frame rate issues right now for me. Like, I've had to slow down. Yeah, it should like, be 30 steady. Oh, really? What? Like, I've Digital Foundry it. said. Oh, really? Uh, when it's docked, I could, I could I've had some it issues. In handheld mode, or is that in docked? Like, this docked was docked. Mode. In handheld mode, I've never had a frame rate issue, actually, ever. It seems to only be when docked. I'm not sure why, but it slowed down for me on. Um, the third no the end of the first world uh it was like i was getting some slowdown on the frame rates but it, it looks great i have to say i'm like i'm really happy with the way it looks but uh you know the games you know frame rates the, the issue i had aside it may have just been my switch who knows uh, but uh but um frame rate issues aside uh the game is is fun it's a bit too easy a uh, bit too easy like very easy. Uh, I was like, uh, that's my Usually only. Usually, all Kirby games are like that. I know. It just seems like. I mean, I, it's fine because um, I actually can play it with my girlfriend and her and her daughter, which is fine. Uh, and they both enjoy the game, and that that's good. And and you know, you don't need much skill to play the Kirby game. And I always play Kirby the uh, main character. See, it starts. It starts. Yep. So we got. That's why I kind of helped picked it up because I'm like, you know, I a Switch game that I'm like, ah, you know, you should get those gateway games. Yeah, exactly. You should, you should bring Bryce over. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, we have a fourth controller, <laughs> so uh, you know, it's it's good though. It was fun. Uh, it's a cute game. Uh, I've not really ever played Kirby too much, um, so this is kind of my first. Kirby. I've played like very little. I've par- now I've probably played more Kirby. I think than the I most ever have. Kirby stuff I've played was on Game Boy. Yeah, color. Same here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I mean, even then, for me, I never owned the game, so I probably just played it when somebody had it at their house, and it was like mm. for like thirty minutes. So this is now the longest I've played it, which is like two hours. Um, it's it's good. It's a good game though. It's just not very challenging for somebody if you guys are looking for i don't think it was designed for you in mind no not to mention i mean you you can get challenged from the game but but it's like kind of like um you know finding all the uh, hidden secrets because the thing is when you start to do that like they require you to keep certain power-ups throughout like a level until like the very end or something to find these secret rounds Um, the nintendo needs to add an achievement system to make that stuff really more worth it they really do yeah. yeah i agree with you um, and hopefully that's coming with the uh, Nintendo Online service later this year. Yeah, but um, yeah. the other thing is, too, is usually when you beat the game, they'll unlock extra modes and stuff like that. Okay. And that's where you can get, like, challenging. Like, I would um, like to see that, like a little challenge, more challenging yeah. in the game. Because it would be cool. Yeah, this they'll game throw, like, was crazy enough where it could be yeah. really fun if it was harder. Yeah. They'll throw you in, like, boss rush mode or arena mode and stuff like that. So, like, and I was telling maybe one of the weeks you were gone, but, like, um, typically in Kirby, like, you're like whatever. I'll tank this boss. Like I'll I'll trade hits with you because I know you're gonna die, and I'll just fucking yeah. restore yeah. health. But when you're doing like boss rush mode or, or arena mode, it's like, oh, I can't just do that. Like I actually have to learn like patterns in you know attacks and, and whatnot. It's like, 
can't just do this. So yeah, yeah. there is some challenge. I'm not saying it's not like Bloodborne. It's not like Dark Souls or anything like that. But there, there are challenge aspects. But yes, like the, the baseline not... is like super like my first game, my first yeah. platform. I have to pick up Bloodborne real quick because it's PS do. Plus. PS Plus. I have to go get that real quick tonight. Um, oh, I also have, speaking of PlayStation, I've been playing through Shadow of Colossus. I am on the 16th Colossus now. Nice. Um, so I, I have to say uh, some of them get a little challenging there. Uh, I have to say, yeah. like, what was the the one with the, the second bull one? I don't know if you played oh, yeah, yeah. That was yeah. like, I'm like, what is going on with this level? I, I was like, I, I didn't realize that the, the kiting around the level you have to do uh, with that. And I'm like, it took me a while, that one. Um, so, I, you know, but I'm, I'm, the game just looks amazing for a PlayStation 2 game. Like, Wow, I can't. Well, again, I mean, it was completely redone. I so. know. It just, I mean, that's what I'm. But I always think back to like this game was originally designed in the PlayStation Two. Yes, a remaster. But I'm yeah. like, it looks amazing. It, it really makes me interested in now. And I'm yeah. actually more interested in Burnout Paradise now because of uh, you know, you think a remake. I'm like, I don't really want to play it. But people have been like, they love that game back in the day, and I, I'm yeah. kind of interested in that now. Yeah. Um, but it's funny you mentioned Burnout Paradise because I remember I I bought a copy on uh, Xbox 360 when it was a platinum hit because it was like, I don't know, probably 10 bucks at Target or something. And I just like completely forgot about it um, and it's completely unopened in my collection. I was just like, oh wow, huh. And I like went on eBay real quick and like people were actually like, paying like decent prices for it. I'm like, really? Like, yeah, that's cool. Okay, that's there cool. You, you know, whatever. Yeah, I um I picked up Nino Kuni um, because I got, that was part of the... um. These, well, you guys just talking about Shadow of Colossus, right? Yes, we are. Yeah. yeah. Oh, just um, that that company, Blue Point. Yeah, I think Blue it Point. Is, yeah. They're, they they're yeah. actually doing another remake. Yeah, we, uh, mentioned, we mentioned last, last week. week. Yeah. Right. Um, but but after that, they're gonna do their own original game. Really? Hmm. That'd be interesting. So they just have this like that. remake that they're doing first, and then once they're done with that, they're focusing on the original cool. game, which sounds like you know with what they've shown so far, we're, I'm. I'm excited. excited. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, they're, I mean, they're, they're awesome interested. at what they do. So. Yeah. yeah. Like, I'm serious. They, this is a great, <clears throat> great job. I've had a couple of weird issues with uh, yeah. jumping and controllers, it, but I'm guessing that's see, still left over from. I know um, we were talking last week about because they they hinted that their next port is an even bigger title than um, Shadow of the Colossus. Right. I was thinking about it more, and actually, I would love to, for them to do like a Super Mario 3D collection. That'd be cool. Like, Super Mario 64, like Super Mario Sunshine, like hmm. all of them, you know, before Odyssey. Like, yeah, I would love to play like Super Mario 64 with like HD high resolution assets. Like, hmm. I'd love that. Yeah, that would be love that'd that would be cool. Uh, yeah, so that's that's really it for me. Um, uh, I want to finish up Shadow Colossus and then go to Ninja Kuni Two. Uh, which I got for thirty eight dollars on that Visa checkout thing. So I think that's the last game I did from that when we did that. Oh damn! Yeah, <laughs> nice. I think that uh, it shipped, and I'm like, I forgot I bought this game. <laughs> I forgot, yeah. Because <laughs> I was like, I, I was reading about that game. I'm like, I'm not hearing amazing things about it, but I'm gonna play yeah. it. But I'm like, I'm not gonna get that right away. And I'm like, and then it shipped. I'm like, oh, I completely forgot I got this at a discounted rate. I guess I'll yeah. play it. Oh, yeah. I mean, if you could beat it within probably. Two months, you'll you'll get your value back. Yeah, I think so. Just wait for the next um, flip again. Yep, yep. Mm-hmm. That's why I'm having them like every couple of months. It seems. Yep. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's how I got Kirby. So it was free, anyways. So, yep. all right, and that's it for me, um, Mike. Um. So, uh, two games I've played recently had major patches. Um, I'll talk about the second one a little later, I guess. But uh, <laughs> one of them is Injustice Two. It had. The Legendary Edition came out, and what that means for us who have the game already is this big patch where they change everything to make it match that version. Um, so level cap jumped up to 30 from 20 from for all of the characters, which is good because now there's progression again uh, for all the characters that I maxed out already. What does the level do for you? Levels, um, they make your character stronger and you're able to get higher level gear. More gear can come with different numbers attached to it and you can't wear it until you're that right. level or higher. Oh. And then once Our you're that... G elements. Yep. And uh, they also, accompanying that, they've refreshed it with a lot more new gear, um, a lot more new epic gear, and even legendary gear options for the DLC characters. Legendary gear for me is one of the misses, I think, in the game. I still don't agree with how it's set up. It's this one piece of gear that you have to grind ridiculous amounts of time and even sacrifice other gear to get for each character. 
And it's just like, it's not worth it in my opinion. But if you want to do that for all the DLC characters, now you can. That's there too. Um, and so, yeah, but everyone has a new new epic gear set, I think, each character. I don't know if the turtles do since they're so new. I kind of hope they do, but I haven't seen anything like that's blatantly new looking to me just yet. Mm-hmm. So um, the Legendary Edition comes with everything. It everything. comes with everything. Um you're not now the patch if you didn't buy everything you're not going to just get it right no 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 no, right 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 but but you know it's like you drop 60 dollars, you get everything or you buy the game for like what 20 base 25 base and then you're probably paying 50 bucks for all the dlc i imagine something like that yeah but uh, yeah no it definitely refreshes things the new gear is great and the the level if you uh, notice like an influx of like players or like easier matchups and stuff i never really noticed drop off to be honest of course i stopped playing for like about a month or two between like turtles and like i don't know like january but once turtles were back it looked like things were back going pretty <laughs> good as far as make online matches i have to say like that 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 like introduction into this universe is probably the most exciting um for like a character, like a celebrity character, air quotes there. Guest no, like, character, yeah. Guess, yeah. I mean, that's neat. Like taking it because they're not technically in like the DC universe, but they are in a way because they've been had they had had crossovers. So mm-hmm. it's pretty cool. Uh, yeah. It was great. And um, they, the one thing big miss actually in the legendary edition is they have a new premiere skin that you pretty much have to buy, I think, separately um, with real money. Possibly, or well, real money or grind forever with the source crystals. Is um like that like Wonder Woman skit stuff that was tied into the movie? Was that timed only for that? Like, can you? It, get it that comes still, back or? every now and then. You'll have that same world come back in the multiverse, and you can get another shot at it. But mm. I got all that. That like that's the only Wonder Woman gear I wear now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but the the big miss is their premiere skin. The premiere skins are like skins that change the character model completely and. Like, you have a Vixen one for Cheetah, so it becomes Vixen, you use the voice actress from the CW shows, and she looks totally different, says different things. There's the Jon Stewart Green Lantern premiere skin, where it's obviously Jon Stewart instead of Hal Jordan. Um, you know, stuff like that. So those Captain are Cold and Mr. Freeze, whatever. Yes, yeah, Mr. Freeze. New dialogue, totally new character, really. Same moveset, obviously, but... This time, their premiere skin with this is Bruce Wayne for Batman. <laughs> and it's it's really awful, because he's just in, like, this, like, you know, work suit. He doesn't say anything different. All his lines are the same. He uh, hovers magically without a cape. And the character <laughs> model they use for Bruce Wayne, I wasn't a fan of. Even, even in the story mode, he's got a very angular face and pointy nose, and I don't know what's up with it. And, it's just like the worst premiere skin, but mm. so that's the one part they really missed with with this. But everything else is cool, so I'm definitely back into that. I'm grinding to get some more epic gear, trying to get to thirty. Um, I finally got the world's greatest uh, chest, which I'm happy about for Batman, which is basically the like Burton style insignia. Oh, the, the circular, the, the circular wolf. one with like yeah, the background. Yeah, so <clears> I'm <throat> happy with that. So I'm doing that, and of course I've back into uh, Battlefront 2, which we'll talk mm. about later. Yeah. Uh, Corey? Um, played uh, some more Fortnite. Played it on mobile, actually. Oh, yeah, oh, I nice. actually played a round or two of that, too, at a friend's nice. house. Cool. I mean, it wasn't, quick, you, wasn't yeah. impressed. <laughs> the, um, I guess the mobile version of PUBG is mostly just you against bots, but um, the Fortnite one is, is pretty much you against mostly actual people. And I did make it to top two, uh, and it sucks because I had the guy. I, I, he was weak, and I just needed one shot, and I had to reload, and I was like, oh, damn, and he killed me. So <clears throat> that sucked, but um, it's, it's actually a decent version of the game. And, like Knowing that it's on mobile now, it's like, well, just waiting for it to hit Switch, like we've talked about. Like, yeah. like, it's got to happen. By the end of the year, absolutely. Yeah, it's got to uh, And then other than that, I did play Sea of Thieves. And it took forever to get into a game. I heard that was an issue for a while. Their servers were down yep. Yep. for a while, and so it took a little bit. Uh, the game's beautiful. It's, like, one of the best-looking games, I think. Um, just the art style, I think, uh, is really well done. Like It fits what the game is trying to do. And what is uh, that? 
<clears throat> and basically, it is a chat room simulator. Okay, that's what I was. Gonna, <laughs> yeah, that's what I've heard. It's a group chat. It's like a friends hangout so, kind of like, game. That's it's it. It's definitely a game that if you have like your friends yeah. and you just like want to shoot the shit and do a couple of party things, like I think this is <laughs> fantastic. It's uh, like if you're that. if you're with a couple of friends online and you're shooting the shit and you just feel like like doing some dumb pirate stuff for a little while, like yeah, this is totally like yeah, totally up there. Absolutely. Now. Um but other than that, like yeah, the, it's it's everything that people would fear. It's like there so, is no progression. So for all those years where I'm like, I don't understand That's, what the point is. Yeah, yeah, There's yeah. still That's no point. There no question. Question. I mean, I was right there with you. Like, what yeah. is this Nobody game? Like, disagreed. is it a yeah. game? It's not it's not a game. <laughs> no. Uh and yeah, that's I've, that's the unfortunate thing because like just hearing Mike talk about injustice and like all these things that they're doing with it, like there's progression there and you're invested in the characters. Uh and with this game, which is interesting is they don't actually let you it's like Fortnite. They don't give you the a custom character customization in the beginning, so you can't make your character you or make your character the way you want it. It's they so just dumb. give you options. It's so dumb. so it's you're so getting dumb. the options of different characters. Like, so I guess I'll go with this guy. Um, so dumb. And I, I, I don't understand that. They worked on this game for so many years. Like, yeah. if you're gonna make, a, okay, whoever could ever possibly listen to us as a publisher <laughs> or developer, if you're gonna make a game that's completely oriented and circled around like like a social setting and and you know, letting people be their characters, like their avatars or whatever, like that. You let people customize that shit. Okay? Also, like, let me give you another aspect of this that might needs to be added. If you're basing a game around cosmetic improvements, you need to be able to see those cosmetic improvements because yeah. it's a first-person game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can go out in the third person, but um. Yeah, I mean, mm-hmm. like remember how like you could do that in Destiny? You had the tower, and you'd be in, that's yeah. that's what I'm saying. Like, mm-hmm. but I mean, the the, the progression system. I could see, like, we're going to talk about it later on. I could see them. It's it's a good foundation, and I, I definitely think this is a game that is in early access right now. It's, it's like this is early access for it. Uh, it's mm. a fully published game, whatever. But this is, it's like Steam Greenlight or something here. <laughs> like, we we have the foundation, and now we're going to build on it. It's like reminds me of the Minecraft days before it became what it is now. It's like. You can do these little things here and there, but that's all you're gonna get to do. Mm-hmm. Um, just shoot. Then again, just shoot the shit with your friends. So that's really all there is. Like, you spend three hours in the game, and you've done everything that you, the game has to offer. Yeah. Uh, it's just a matter of you want to keep doing that with the people that are on your friends list. Hmm. So. All right. But again, it's really pretty. So. Yeah, I've I've <laughs> like heard that. comparisons. Uh, I've heard it be called a uh, No Man's Sea. <laughs> Like in just like, I, I yeah, think that nothing. this game is better than No Man's Sea. Um, no Man's Sky. Sky. <laughs> no Man's Sky uh, just because uh, we really had no idea what it was initially, and they didn't promise it was going to be the world. Um, they just said, hey, we're going to have this pirate thing, and you can then be a pirate with your friends, and that's what it is. They didn't, but they there's didn't, nothing else. Yeah, they didn't Peter Ball on over, US. Yeah, they didn't over um, hype the game or didn't tell you that this is going to be more than what it was. No, uh, no, no, I know, but it's just like in terms of like they've been showing it for how many years, and like. The same criticisms have been coming up for those same years, like the same amount of years. Like, I don't understand. Like, what do you do? Like, <laughs> what do but, you do? But what do you do? Yeah. You say you do. And everybody I've heard that says it is like, the game is fun, it's good, <laughs> but what do you do? Like, every single person that's already played the game has said the same thing. Yeah. Like, it, what, it, where is the progression? Yeah. Um, uh, again, I think, because like, with Destiny, um, as the most fun I had was just being out there with my friends and like talking to people and yeah. like yeah and just like catching up with friends like you haven't talked to them like in a week or whatever here it's the same idea it's just that you're not doing as much and Destiny's bare bones so it's like yeah wow um, wow and you're not even doing as much as that so. I heard there was one story I've heard where you have to kill these skeletons that you, there's like eight of them and you have only five shots in your gun and they can't be killed with melee so that like you have to Go back to your ship to reload your gun because you can't reload ammo except on your ship. So it's like a massive loop of shooting some, going back to your boat, shooting some, going back to your boat. Shooting it just that just sounds horrible. <laughs> so it's artificially inflating the time that it takes yes, to do things. Yes. All right, uh, Tony, what are you what have you been up to? Um, not too much. Uh, s- still on a, a multiplayer kick with um, Overwatch, uh, trying to learn. Brigitte. Wait, was she out last week when I yeah, talked yeah. about yep, it? Yep, yep. Yeah, I'm still loving her. Um, she's a fantastic character. Definitely suits my play style. 
Um, really interested in seeing how she changes up Overwatch League next season, which I was able to watch the finals this past weekend. Oh, man. My team, uh, the Philadelphia Fusion, that got to the, the, the finals. Oh, my team beat you, so... Yeah. What? Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck that, dude. I was so mad. Like, they were sweet. They went 2-0, and oh, and I'm just like, end it right here. Just end it right here. And they just, like, <laughs> crumble. I think they did a substitution or something. I'm just like... But why? But why would you do this? Like yeah. you have a team that's too old. Because you have character, you have maps, man, and, and people that need to like swap in for their, no, their fuck maps that. and shit. Don't, don't fix what's not broken. It's like, like overthinking. That. It's like baseball when you overthink yeah. the pitchers. And then yeah, and then they got reverse swept by fucking Excelsiors. I was like, you fucking asshole! You got I so mean, close. Excelsior's been like so dominant <laughs> in ty- this entire like stage one and stage two. Is like... no, they definitely have. But the thing is, um, I feel like they're overly reliant on. Um, I forget the the support's he, name. Oh, the uh, who, support. Uh, who plays Zenyatta? Because Zenyatta is just so overpowered in the professional scene. Jay, right Jay John or some Jay John. Yeah, yeah, something. Jay John. Oh, like Zenyatta, Zenyatta is getting nerfed in this game specifically because of one professional player. Like <laughs> it's fast. ridiculous. The guy is the guy. Well, the guy is like ridiculous. I mean, he is he is really good. Like it's <laughs> it's disgusting. You, because, you like, don't even realize Zenyatta can do the things that he's no, doing. With no, no, absolutely not. You're just like what? And the thing is, I started seeing that in. Like, people, like, started picking him up because of this fucking guy. I'm just like, yo, this is straight up overpowered. Like, it's just, it's it's not fair. Like, hmm. you know, whatever. This guy's juicing, man. <laughs> He's juicing. Have you seen the memes, though, with it? Yeah, they, yeah. they case his head on, like, this body pillow. Yeah. <laughs> You're already dead. Like, oh, my God. Wow. Um, so that's, it, it's really fun to watch. Uh, Overwatch League has definitely come a long way. Um, other than that, uh, I was trying to play some PUBG last night with Nick and Bill and uh, Nick's brother-in-law. And... Like, we played, like, two games, and then all of a sudden it's like, servers went to shit, we couldn't connect, this, that, and the other thing. And then it's like, we discovered, like, oh, guys, we're, we're, we're pushing out this update on the server, so they're going to be down for a couple hours. I'm like, you fucking pick Monday night, fucking Monday night, the, the night where nobody does anything because they're too tired from fucking Monday, and they probably just want to play video games. You fucking choose that time to push out a fucking patch. Go fuck yourself. So then it's like, well, we all downloaded Fortnite, so let's play that. Uh, so I, I played a couple rounds that day on uh, PlayStation 4, and then we switched, I switched to PC. So the cool thing is, like, your account is, um, right, tied because it's just your Epic account. Um, but uh, my PC restarted in the middle of this match, and uh, when I joined, it, like, it kicked me. I couldn't even rejoin. Whereas in PUBG, if you reconnect, you, you can still go as long as you're alive. So I was pretty pissed off, pretty bitter about that. But PUBG, I will say, um, or not PUBG, Fortnite, coming from the PUBG side of it, things... Um, it's something less serious uh, in terms of like obviously it's cartoony in nature, just graphical style. Um, the weapons are kind of goofier and whatnot. Um, it, it's fun. I, yeah, I do like the um, building aspect in a way. I'm still trying to learn how to really take advantage yeah, of that. Yeah, well, you were saying like on the Discord, like if you get down to the top five, if you don't know how to build, you're, pr- you're pretty much screwed. Yeah, and, that, and that's what it is because like I got to the top three in like my third game on PlayStation, and uh, I was just like, where is everybody? And like. Me being a dumbass is like, oh, this tower isn't a natural like, <laughs> natural like building. It was somebody like I could just see somebody building. I'm like, oh shit, and I'm just like, what do I do? Because like I can't just start building now. He'll obviously just like, like yep. pure over and like pew 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 shoot me. So I'm like I'm there and like I'm trying to try to like, knock it down. That doesn't work. I'm just like, oh my god. I was like, I was just so mad. Um, but yeah. So I mean, it, it's interesting. Uh, it's a nice palate cleanser, I guess, from PUBG, but. Um, I appreciate what they're doing, all the different modes and stuff, and how they're trying to get it on all the platforms, uh, cross-platform, cross play. all that shit. Yeah. Like, it's funny because we've been talking about this ever since um, you know Microsoft opened up the floodgates, but they're like, oh, yeah, we'll let you play with whoever. Like, we don't care. Uh, and Sony's just been stingy assholes because they're in the lead. And, you know, <laughs> and there was a story. Like, Epic actually forgot to, like, turn that off or something. Yeah. PlayStation and Xbox yep. players were playing each other. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so you it's really funny because... You know it's there. Yep. And this is... It, it's going to be interesting... Or... Yeah. Watch, watch, watch how interesting this becomes. Because honestly, with the way Fortnite is going, and it's getting super popular among like, eight, like all age brackets, yep. uh, and it's making so much money. I think it's also like the accessibility for like yeah. two year olds and stuff is. Oh, like, yeah. It's like it, anybody can really play this. You yeah. Know, it's, yeah. It's, it's goofy. So goofy. Yeah. Uh, but you watch like if PlayStation is the is the outlier where it's like you can't just like play with your friends uh, because you own a PlayStation. They all own other devices. Um, my, uh, Sony's going to get a lot of heat for that, and th- this could be the game that actually gets them to revisit this rule. Yeah, um, because no, I mean it's it, like nice. that, the whole thing with um, like how do you like 
borrow games and like that video of like the guy yep. handing it like that's what xbox is doing to them right now yep it's like Absolutely. hey 100%. guys like <laughs> you yeah. want to play with your friends cool we don't care like yeah. that's fine yeah yeah so yeah so, so someone's yeah. got to get on board so they are the ones yeah this. Yeah. yeah but that's it for me all right let's get into our topic then uh, again we have a topic tonight which is uh Games, games as, as a service, service. and uh, it's like well, the big it, thing now. It, it's, it's not really games. Not really the topic. It's more about well, it's, like games being enhanced after they've come out. And, like, well, that, that is that is games as a service. Well, yeah, that. but that's but these games aren't indirectly games as a service. Uh, so it's like, let, let's let's take Battle Battlefront uh, is the biggest culprit about this now. You know, I, last week they released a patch that completely changed the progression pro- progression system in the game uh, to where now the you can't purchase loot boxes or anything like that anymore they're out of the game entirely and the progression system's in place where you can level up and get your you know get your items that way um they just made this change march 21st and the game's been out obviously since obviously since october right october yeah november i thought it was november maybe it was november that one but um yeah obviously the biggest loot crate crate controversy ever uh disney obviously it wasn't necessarily loot crate it was literally pay to pay to win yeah pay to Um, win so like is this is this a is this practice reward worthy or not? How about that? That's the best way to look at it. So framed this in a, such a biased way, but all right. Hey, <laughs> I'm just going with Lucas well, Mike. I'm a big fan of Diablo three, and you know, as Tony will tell you, that game was an abomination when it came out at first. And after reading Blood, Sweat, and Pixels, uh, you kind of understand a little more. But like, it's first of all, I know you're like very happy that they made these changes, right, for Battlefront? For the most part, um, although I have to say. It, now that I've, I went back and played it, and you level up only what you play as now, which is fine, but it does take a little bit away from it, actually, as far as the way it was before. It, it, there was still, they didn't have the, like, pay-to-win things. It was, you gain currency that you can use to level up whatever. I kind of miss some aspects of that and some of the randomness of the loot box, because now you just know what you're going to do. There's, It's not as exciting. They might, but that's going to change, I think, when they bring in cosmetics, which is coming later. Yeah. Which, of course, they lied about and said that they weren't able to do that, and yeah. now they are. Yeah. But hmm. the thing is, is this too little, too late, Mike? It, I think it is. I think it's it's all, no. They have more DLC set up, obviously, and they haven't done anything with that yet. It's only the fifth month. Here's the thing. You, you, very, the very, fifth month. It's, here, it's a long time for a game but, like this. But that's what I'm saying. Like You have a very limited window. And going to Sea of Thieves, we're talking about Sea of Thieves a little and how barren it is. They have a very limited window to get content into a game to make it worthwhile. Uh, very rarely can a game ch- turn it around later. Like Diablo 3 is an exception that... I mean, there's still people that hate that game. Like, Tony, you'll never play it. Uh, and... And that's fine. Like that's you. You stand by that statement, and that's fine. The game is great now, though. They've done a great job with it, uh, and and that game it's extremely popular. It sold great. The uh, ultimate was it the Reaper edition, um, mm-hmm. and uh, Reaper of Souls edition, mm-hmm. and you know that's one of those rare turnarounds that you can have. Uh, Rainbow Six is another game. I'd say that right. Rainbow Six is another one that they've now on season three of that they've completely turned around. Uh, it very rarely does well, a game I don't have know, that. They turn it around. It just mm-hmm. it's it wasn't. It never dropped off. It just oh. kept going up. So division, division, division. They turned around. Yeah, uh, you know. So I mean, there's very rare to have a game that you can turn around and then be successful afterwards. Um, you know. So like Destiny one, uh, but I think Destiny two is done. I think it's done. Destiny so that's that's yeah, that's that's me. And I'm not against uh, this practice. We'll see. We'll see. Destiny two has a chance with its first DLC expansion, kind of like Taken King was. Well, for... its first major one because there have, right, sorry, have the been major... one, and right, it's right. going to be another one. Yeah, I, I agree with you, Tony. That I think people know that there the, the could be a chance that this gets better, uh, and that maybe they listen and you know do turn a Taken King on this. But I think people time, are skeptical. Yeah, at the same time, it's like, really, we're going to do this again? Like, yeah. you couldn't have learned from the first first time here? Uh, with Sea of Thieves, I think that there's a difference, though, just because this game is part of Game Pass, uh, and you're basically getting it for $10 a month. Yeah, it's very, very clever yeah. of Microsoft. And so there. you're going to have time to, yeah. like, that, that game will have time to succeed. Yeah, uh, and that's the huge difference here. Like, like here's what I'll say. If... EA uh, was interested in Battlefront 2 success right now, they would offer it free as part of their um, EA Live. That's true. Whatever, the there you go. Service. The vault, whatever. That is the only way to save that game. That's a good point. Yeah, that would be that would be a good idea. 
Um, I just don't see it coming back, Mike. I just don't. I mean, like, I know that I don't that brings us into anywhere. our. But that. Right. I oh, think yeah. it did oh, yeah. well enough, though. Actually, it did well enough that the install base. Like it's say they have like ten percent of the people who bought it. It's still playing it. That's still more than what most games have. One of my coworkers went back to it. All I know is you and have. A... I'm going back, and the thing that I think that makes this interesting is because of the high profile nature of this, and how it's the most hated game company in the world. But... And the people got together. They said, "What this is wrong. We don't like this," and they actually. Reason, well, for whatever reason, they actually they listened because they lost they, money. They listened because well, yeah, but they did. And the point is, they lost more money reworking all of this. Now that's they because had you have changed. no because Disney, they had because Disney dick at no one cares about no, why. That doesn't no, matter. yes, they do. It because doesn't Disney, matter why they have sales. Because, pro- listen, listen, go ahead, go ahead. because <laughs> it doesn't matter why they did it. Because now they need to see financial reward no. for the work they put in for what they did. If they don't they will never listen no matter whose dick is being swung no because you're not listening. <laughs> they will never do this again this is the thing when they have an agreement with disney they have a sales number they are supposed to reach projection wise and they clearly did not reach it and now disney has more power with that so i don't then, think disney cares about the sales as much as they care about public perception it's disney so, doesn't care about yeah no disney wants money too we all know disney i mean money. again this was what this made the top 10 in pd for the whole year in its first week this game it sold Pretty well, not as good as maybe right. they hoped. on brand not, name, not based on, on projections, brand name alone, though, Mike. On projections, they didn't sell well. That's what I'm saying. They right. over Disney doesn't it. care about where it lands in yeah. rankings. Disney cares about, hey, EA, you said you we're going to sell 10, 10 million copies of Star Wars Battlefront Two, and we only sold nine. So what fine. The fuck so why going? are they doing this then? Why did because, they tell them to do it? Because because, because, yeah, they want... because Disney literally told them you need to fucking yeah, so fix this. Yeah. So why is Disney telling them to do it? What do they expect to happen? Because they want it to succeed, but it's not. It's too late. I'm telling you, it's too late for this game. Yeah, then is this is this a permanent tarnish on this this this, this it series is. now? It's too. Like, too does tarnished. Battlefront Freak Three come out now, or does it not? And if it does come out, does it sell worse? I don't yeah, know. I think like, it's the, done. The point I think is, the, I think the franchise is done. It's a franchise killing issue mistake. And if they don't <laughs> learn from that, Mike, then they don't deserve to be a company. <laughs> yeah, well, they're not going away. They're EA. I know that. Well, you know, all things can come to an end. But Bioware's not gone. Yeah, yeah, you killed them. <laughs> the point is that that's the thing. If they don't see a return from mm-hmm. this, then there's no reason for them to ever listen to anybody ever again. No, I don't think it's that's the basis of this at all. Like, I just don't. That's why I was saying like, I don't see this as a basis. I see this as why? Disney, Disney said. That's how it is. That's how. No, it is. Do you not? Are it you doesn't matter. Like, Disney saying, no, like because like it. he's got a point where it's like. Okay, this big company's got a hold over you because like, they have a contract and this is their IP. So they're saying you need to change things because the perception of this is not where we want it to be. Sure. So this now, has to get changed. Yeah. So they make these they make these changes and then they just lose more money. I Why know. would they do that going forward? Well, I'd be, not saying make changes. Don't make the mistake to begin with. That's what Moving we're saying. Moving forward, they'll just say now. It's over. <laughs> it's already had. Like, of course. That I think what they're saying is like well, what going forward, Mike's saying is he's saying like. The company's like, why are we going to lose more money doing all these changes? We're just going to do whatever we do, and we're going to make the because, money we can make. Because the forward. original way they would have done it, they would have made probably more money on whales with more people pissed off, less space. But they probably would have made way more money with pay to win. Yeah, and way something more. and something made them change. Something made them change. Well, no one made them so change. So now they totally like, – yeah, like, people made them change. No, people no, that's and not – Disney. No, people did not make them change. They're the worst it's company the, rated in the in the, in. I don't uh, care about. Yeah, how can you say people didn't make them change? If nobody complained, there would be no changes. If people did people, it directly, no, no, no. People didn't I'm directly saying, do it because EA weeks, doesn't care weeks about leading people. up to the launch. EA did shit. Yeah. All of this was known. People had been beta testing it. It's doing open beta, doing closed beta. They said, "Yo, this is fucked up." You could see all the articles where some dude even calculated out like. It's going to take 40 hours to unlock one fucking character. Was. That's what it right. was. No, no, it wasn't it that. It wasn't that still because they still listen. did it. It still didn't still listen. listen. The game launched without it. EA consistently does this. They don't right. listen to the fans. It was patched at the last the minute. This time, so it's out. No, this time they had a company that can actually say, you're doing this or you don't have this oh, license. I don't understand what you guys are arguing right now. The, the whole thing is... <laughs> The, like they're all, I think you guys are arguing all on the same like side right now. It's like kind of like confusing because because Mike saying no, the, Disney made them change it. Yes, and the yes. people made That's Disney get on board. The, the, what? Sorry, Corey. was just going to shit. 
Everybody's yeah. saying this is terrible. Like so, Disney's saying, "Well, we can't have our name Disney, like, associated with so this." So Disney is what so, made EA do this. People, and people yes, made, but, but the, indirectly, the people, people did. But, yes, indirectly, people did because EA didn't listen to people. No. EA listened to Disney will, because the right. people were were bitching at Disney. I will concede that indirectly, right. indirectly, but, indirectly, but if people weren't people bitching, Disney this. wouldn't have said anything. Sure, indirectly, sure. people people did this. I don't indirectly. know why I keep saying like. You're harping on that point. It doesn't matter. It's because like, they're the so in is... love with Disney, they need to make it the end no, all. No, I'm be not all. giving them. <laughs> no, I'm not giving them props for this. I'm just saying that it's like, it. it I'm saying that this change is too little, too late. And then you get upset with me saying that, and that's because it's five months later, and they've already gotten the flack for it, and this franchise is dead. <laughs> I think Star Wars that's a is never gonna be bit over dramatic. No, no, Star Wars game. The and Battle they wouldn't... Battlefront. And and they haven't released any major expansions like they would have, they were planning to anyway and within the same time frame so i don't think i know how to say it, see i think they released um, extra they released like freaking like ewan mcgregor uh obi-wan or like qui-gon pack something soon it'll be fine and when everyone realizes that that everything they complained about is not there i mean it might come back i don't see what like this isn't that deep into the lifespan of this game we're talking about Injustice's well, patch. The game's almost been out for a year. I know, but they released this. That's but, a fighting but, game. but they don't. But they don't release an Injustice three the year after. This year they have Battlefield four. Uh, Battlefield's coming out this year. It's coming out this Battlefield year. Battlefield isn't Battlefront. No, it's but the it's their thing. other game. They're going to turn focus right on that. I saw. Not to mention, it doesn't matter. Nobody gives a shit about Battlefront two. Everybody's playing PUBG or Fortnite. <laughs> There's more than like <laughs> the numbers of people. There's plenty of people still playing that game. So, Anyways, back to the original point. Like, is... the point, my point is that if they don't see any financial reason for this, then everyone be damned. It's not going to happen again. I don't it'll think so. Again, absolutely, it'll happen again. You can buy right now, and they'll still no, do it again. I, I think Mike's point, Tony, is that EA is just not it's not going to listen anymore. They're going to do whatever they want. No, to do. but I would say that. Let's no, say, no, I would say if it sells. Let's say from now on, it sells. Let's say it sells twenty million copies. They still do it again. Do what? The, do what? the, the pay to win. They'll put pay to win yeah, in the next game. Like that, that's, I think, Mike's point. They'll is do that, that again. Pay to win. No, they'll his do point that is... again if they lose money no. on this, these changes. I am saying right now, Corey. They'll do that again if they lose Wait. money on these changes. You, if they don't, you're hearing if, they see, if they see something oh. from the change. The contract, Disney has the power in this relationship. It doesn't matter what EA wants. It matters what Disney wants. That's the fucking end-all, be-all of the situation. That's what it is. It doesn't matter if EA loses money off of this. It's what they fucking signed on the dotted line, the contract. Yes. Now, here's because the they want to make Battlefront 3. They want to make that open world Star Wars game. It's, it, what matters is what Disney wants. That's, yeah, that's what I'm that's saying. That's the bottom line. But I'm saying, like, Mike, if they sold 20 million copies of this game tomorrow, it doesn't matter. EA will still do pay to win next game. They'll still no, try no, it they again. Won't. No, they won't. If they see that actually not being shitty is has financial repercussions that are good for them... <clears throat> then they'll learn from it. They don't care about anything else. Same thing with Disney, really. They don't care about anything else other well, than the Well, I think line. we're going to find out. And if this helps them out, we'll see. But Battlefield, I, mean, I think Battlefield go is going yeah, to show big. us what they've learned. If they've learned anything, Battlefield's going to show that, us that. Yeah, so that's true. That is gonna, that's gonna find game. out. It's a big game for them this year. So, um, yeah, I mean... And not to mention just, yeah, stuff like that. Not just the Disney relationship other games for them in the future <laughs> be less shitty if people respond in a positive way then they'll be less shitty if they don't then they'll be shitty <laughs> because it's makes more money quicker I it's just, really that simple <laughs> i'm 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 saying if these changes came earlier i would agree with you mike i think that because they've obviously five months later all you had to do was take them out it, it took this long to make Wait, that decision they, no no it took they them out they had it out right from away the Jim. Launch. no Still threatening the they, they, they weren't able to implement the new system until now, which is different than saying they took it out. Don't tell me it like takes five took... months to implement this new system. It's, I don't know all the game development. Changes, but yeah. No, I'm telling you that it was a time frame based on poor sales that they did this only. I'm saying like the pay to win stuff was out of there right away. Like, sure. Was it was, but so. with with the, with the statement that it will come back later. And, and what, never what's did. coming back is you're going to be able to pay for cosmetics next did, month. Because it did not sell as well as they wanted to, so then they had to make these changes. They are still no, going to try it later. Always... No. I fully expect... The pay-to-win thing, I don't think they're going to They, they do said the it's never coming back. Win. That's part of this update. They said pay-to-win's never coming back. 
you will be able to pay for cosmetics starting next month. If now, okay, I first of all, the game's not going to sell better now. It's not going to take off. It might. That'd be whatever. There'll be. I expect them to be a little bump. I don't know how big. Depending on the size of the bump, is if, if this if, is a if they include this in EA Access, I'll pay it. Uh, I'll I'll play it. I'll try it again. Um, but uh, I just don't see it coming back. And and Battlefield Battlefield no, Five it did twenty in NPD February twenty eighteen twentieth. Yeah, Dropped like a compared rock. compared to the other ones, yeah. So it's no GTA. That's just I'll talk about. <laughs> I mean, sustainability. for the for the Snow Call just of Duty, quick Snow funny, NBA, quick funny Dragon side story. Players. Quick funny side story. I'm in Toys R Us. The woman in front of me. Guess what game she's buying when we're in there waiting in line? Of course, Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, of unbelievable. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, are you? I'm like, and the woman's passing around because they can't open the case open, and I'm like, just don't buy the game. Just don't buy it. But uh, yeah. Anyways, um, so what else? I mean, this is it's kind of two different issues we were talking starting off. Yeah, I mean that's one of them. And it, can EA make the change and, and and turn change gears? But like this goes back to the point of uh, do do you play any of these games uh, that make these changes going forward? Like if it's a completely different game afterwards, do you give it a try? Do you give it time? Like you know, well, your... there you know, are other companies that do it well. Like obviously we talked about Diablo three that that turned it around for most people. Like me, I was just starting because like look, I I built a completely new system to play that game wasn't what i wanted it to be and by the time they fix everything it's like all right well i'm I've yeah, moved on to uh, other things the moment's passed yeah, yeah right the moment's you. passed you. but you look at um like ubisoft ubisoft is wonderful at that um they've done with, good yeah for honor they 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 got dedicated they servers to they have support it you yep. right they get to support it you look at um tom clancy's rainbow six siege i mean that game reviewed like so mediocrely you never hear about it on like gaming websites like publications i don't think it was up for any game of the years award uh game of the year awards but it did phenomenally for ubisoft yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, it had the highest engagement with the most recent patch uh right. they've had the and most it's doing uh, better than it's ever done before it right. just keeps growing right yeah. it keeps growing uh same thing with the vision division turned it around a little bit even after like i know Corey, you were in that game for yeah. a, a little while I, I went back to it uh the patches and the the way that they you know we re- redid all the loot systems and things mm-hmm. like that they, they they're listening to the fans and they're right. putting things and implementing right. and, and yeah oh final fantasy 14 here's, here's final the, fantasy 14 another one right final fantasy 14 Here, here's the difference though is what you just said Corey. they're listening to the fans okay and i don't want to bridge into this argument but again ea doesn't listen to the fans they listen to the the, the dollar which in this case mm-hmm. it's disney it's the like, same for thing. example it's not the same it's thing not, it's not because look, they don't last listen. year look at last year and how fucking broken mass effect andromeda was well look at their commitment to that game after well, that the, fucking yeah, the, shit fans, the, the fans they listened to the fans they gave up on it that's what the fans told them to do that's exactly the message they got from the fan base from that. And I'm still mad at the if, fan base or the people who were like that at that because everyone lost. Yeah. Because everyone's if they had, if they had like, oh, this is terrible. If they had faith in their product, they would have been like, hey, we'll stick faith to our guns. Product. We're going to There's gonna no faith. This. It's money. Right. From all so, these companies. Nope. So if people didn't buy it enough and then people are talking shit enough where they know no one else is going to buy it. Then the difference is how the companies are approaching it and how they, they're communicating with the fan base and how they're actually implementing the, the, the changes. It's There is a difference with the way the approach is, and that's the problem with EA is that their approach is just not user-friendly or consumer-friendly. It's and now, yeah, and again, so- now I said for the first time they're doing something. It doesn't matter if Disney is the reason why. That this is the first time they've done something based on fan response. So, if they don't see anything from it, then nothing good comes from it. But mm-hmm. this could be the beginning of something good. Not, that's not oh, my problem. Oh. I, don't, I don't care. Uh, does anybody else have any comments on this? Are we, are we good? Well, just yeah, as I mean, you, um, look at, you look at the, like, uh, let's talk real quick about like you look at Square Enix and Final Fantasy 15. I mean, we all had you know the three of us had issues with that game. Sure. Yeah. Uh, when that, and that was released, that was a sixty dollar well, single player RPG. And it's been two years now, and they've continued to support it with like countless patches, both single player and multiplayer, paid and free content. It's just like that is games as a service. That's that's them being like, hey, we're going to double down on our fans. Uh, we want you coming back to this game. We want you to enjoy your experience. We want you to come back and get a, a different ending, the better ending that you wanted. Uh, we want you to be able to play multiplayer. We want you to be able to play as the uh, other, other characters, characters. Yeah. that weren't that weren't party members and stuff. And like find that. out so, the storylines that were happening when they disappeared. All yeah, yeah, <laughs> right, right, exactly. So, uh, I mean, it, it's it's completely possible. It's just again, Corey, you, you you hit the nail on the head. It's about the approach and the way that they're partnering and saying, hey, we 
yeah, we're a company, and we we obviously need to make money off of this, but we like, we want you to enjoy this game. We want you to be fans of our series. The idea. Don't forget the responses EA gave at first to the fan yes. based messages. Let's not forget that. Messages. Let's not forget that. It was. It's not that important. Like you got it it's, everyone. It, it's so it was the number one that. highest know, downrated people, vote thing. If, on l- l- what, don't if what if what if someone from Disney said that instead of from EA? It wouldn't have been that low. If it's same exact words, if it wasn't some EA rep. It wouldn't have been downvoted like that. It's all because people hate EA. People come in with preconceived notions. It's weird. I wonder why they hate EA. Huh? Yeah, that's fine. But it's weird. Hmm. It's not like they were voted like worst company. So yeah, now, Mike, they need to do, they need yeah, we, to do know, we know they have their sweatshops in China too. Mike, EA. Mike, they need, people are ridiculous. They need to people do are ridiculous they need online. To do better. They need to do better. Absolutely ridiculous. You can get rid of it. You can get rid of that uh, stigma. Enough of EA. Like, let's just like move on here with um. Someone Jeez. gave a rote, freaking, like, automatic, res- like, customer service response to something that he didn't think could change, and that people all jumped on him. That's great. Real proud of the community for that. I'm great. Talking about it's, it's nonsense. The EAs. It's, it's, we're done with EA, I think. Like they're they're. It's, we've word. learned a lot from this <laughs> from yeah. EA here. Yeah. And, I, and like again, we're talking about like games as a service or uh, games and the longevity and how to approach that and like we've seen companies do it well like blizzard mm-hmm. ubisoft and like then you have like warframe which is yeah, a game yeah, that's just been continuing to grow and it was a launch title on ps4 basically as a free-to-play game and it's just bigger than ever now it's yeah well, and it was free to play they, yeah, and that, you expect good enhancements from something like that and they didn't charge for it right away i mean they didn't charge for it at all until you can buy stuff but free to play right. to start you yeah. So and yeah. they and they continued to support it and they continued to again create a fan base that was dedicated to their game wow. and was able to, you know, build a community around will, it. And that's will, how you get this longevity. I'll mention a, pos- a positive not trying to go back to EA here but Respawn <clears throat> with Titanfall. Yeah, I mean they had a was... lot of support for Titanfall too. Yeah, absolutely. They still have support. Yeah, they're Titan. still doing it. So, yeah. it's a great uh, system. They're... Yeah. So you know, I mean, it can be done. It's just a matter of like, is it a good, you know, then there's the issue of like, you know, the question is, is it worth it for the companies in the long run? Yeah. Because they won't do it, it over and over again. If it's I, not, I think it's public impression. Uh, that, that's, that helps, that's where it's worth it. That's where it's, I mean, look what Ubisoft's done now. Cause remember Assassin's Creed, the, uh, uh, unity, uh, that was horrible, and they'll, they've they've been yeah. They've solid look, they took that. what a yeah. year or two off. Yeah, yep. no, that helped. I mean, just the time off helped. Though. People can I mean, learn. That's what. But they, right. they, 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 they took the purpose. time off because of the reception of Unity yeah. it was so bad. It was toxic. Well, they they, they, they did come out with the game after Unity, but what, what wasn't that like the Vita game though, or whatever? No, or? no, no. They had the the one in England that came out or whatever, like the the two the, yeah. like the brother sister or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Um, the one I haven't played yet, which I might later. So they they put they, they, they have one more game, but then they had, but then they had the, the, the time off after that. Yeah, Ubisoft's like, like, yeah, saturated. You gotta see when the fatigue is there and like. Ubisoft's take a, a good step job back. of turning that around. They really. But have. I think the yeah, the difference just here, I think, the, just the break, I think, turned it around. Just no, but I mean, just Ubisoft as a company. Ubisoft as a company had a bad rep at that point that they were rushing things out, and since then, I mean, you've gotten them. They've they hell. I mean, what do they do? Mario Rabbids, right? I mean, that's. Mm-hmm. They they got a Mario game on their on their under their belts, which is pretty amazing for them to do, um, considering where they came from. Unity, which was the like probably the most posted meme I've seen of a video game ever, with a blown up face. Yeah. Um, so I mean, like you can make changes, and and a lot of it is based on public opinion, Mike, not profits, because you you, so I think you gain going that later. forward. You like, gain that later. Going forward, we're gonna. I mean, more and more games are gonna be. A game as a service. It's oh, going to sure. be yeah. these Fortnites, these PUBGs that sea of thieves. are, sea yeah, of, yeah exactly. Are too. like these, <laughs> yeah. yeah, these experiences that you're going to be able to support year over year because it costs a lot less to put out a game and then support that game than right. to put out a game every single year. Yeah, right. And this is what I've been saying for this amazingly. Is, this is what everybody wants. They want these games that they could continue to support, like League of Legends, like Overwatch. I mean, so, wait, you always guys. question it, like with Madden, like Madden. every that's year. That's that's what, I was going to bring up. Like, when are we going to get this as a Madden game? By the way, when do we get this? Never, as a because it's EA. They're greedy. I mean NBA too. I mean, can you NBA... ima- can you imagine? Can you imagine was... if they took their popular sports franchises like Madden and FIFA and were just like, hey, this is Madden. It's 
cross-platform. It's on everything. It's from iOS, PlayStation, Switch, Xbox, PC, Android, whatever the fuck can run this fucking game, and it's pervasive. And yeah, you, that'd be awesome. you, you can get your updated teams. I mean, you could do jerseys. You could do old-school logos, like this, that, and the other crazy, thing. Because, like, but EA would never do games. that. I mean, you look at these gone. games, like, and you know, shit. like, that they're <laughs> I mean, my making man. money hand over fist. Like, yeah. Fortnite is making more money than PUBG now. It's like $126 yeah. million dollars they made yeah. in February. Yeah, and it's it's, it's a free to play game. Like you do that with a Madden game, you can that you can do that and make money if you. Yeah, FIFA, this... you could FIFA worldwide. Can you imagine? Can you imagine the yeah. money they would, it would be making? awesome. It would be cool. Like, they should do this. They really should. Spending, yeah, you don't need to get those sixty dollars every year. You just need to get them the sixty dollars initially. Get them in, and it's like you know, give them the taste, and then boom, you just like get the roster updates. You get like you're saying the uniforms. You get the different yeah, trades if, that if happen. They, if they release a Madden legacy game. teams, like yeah. there's, there's, it's, it's the possibilities are endless. You can do, and then you got teams. the card packs with the ultimate team, like the, yeah. their whole yeah. ultimate yeah. thing. That's what I mean. They, they make so much money from that yeah. as it is. Like if can they release, if yeah. they release a new Madden game every four years as a new engine, like yeah, that would be completely like different. Yeah, and they could update the engine. Yeah. Can you imagine if they did like fantasy football within Madden? Like, can you imagine? Fantasy football within Madden, we're just like you gotta look saying, at all this you shit. Imagine? You gotta can you imagine? Can you imagine? Just imagine it. Just imagine. You're there. <laughs> so <laughs> behind you, making... Jim, and just like chokes <laughs> you out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. They'll be making ridiculous amounts of money. Yeah, no, but they I won't mean... do that because they're risk averse and they don't want to stray from their formula. Yeah, but it's just like I think I do see a day when that has going to happen because of eventually, the fact yeah, you, you they... have these Fortnites coming out, right? And... So games right. as a service, but they will games... be the last ones to drag themselves across that finish line. Games as a service, uh, a good thing, right? And that's why you know, like, a, it can a be, Jim. It yes. can right? It can be most part, right? I mean, you look at something like um, Cliffy B's uh, Lawbreakers or whatever. I mean, that's yeah. just dead. It dead. And yeah. that is a game that's certainly not Battleborn. <laughs> Battleborn, even if right, Paragon. Yeah. I mean, you know what was cool though? What Epic did? They released all those like, assets. All the assets for free. million dollars worth of assets. Yeah, yeah. No, that's how free. much. That's free. how much Fortnite they're making. Yeah, Fortnite's Fortnite. Like, much, that's like, like you know what? Here you guys go. Like, we'll, I'm sorry, Kevin. We'll, we'll no, take no, right you off. can make that game now if you want. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, I mean, you just look at it, and that's why oh, even there again. Uh, there Sea of Thieves. I'm not gonna really harp on it too much because A, I wasn't really invested in it to begin with, but B, you know, they. I mean, the whole Game Pass service with new games, uh, and I think they were deliberate with using Sea of Thieves as one of the first yeah. games yeah, to launch so on that too. service. Yeah. Because it takes the sting out of, wow, I paid $60 for this, into, right. oh, you know what, this is this is kind of cool right now, but you know what, maybe I'll come back to it in six months or a year There's and see how... There's other games to play right now. Right, exactly. Yep. And that's and that's awesome, and that is that is Microsoft's competitive advantage right now, because n- nobody else is doing it. Yeah. Sony's not doing it, and Nintendo's not doing it. Um, so, you know, I, I hope it works out for them. And even, um, like one of the big deterrents for me from getting an Xbox one was the, um, the master chief collection. Look at how terrible that was. Yeah. And they're still supporting. I think they said they're coming out with something to like, there's still updates coming to that. Right. That game was so broken. They're still working on fixing it. Update it for like 4k and HDR stuff. Yeah. Things like that. But right. But I think they're still doing more stuff. But, I have not paid attention to that game. No, but they've I, been uh, supporting Gears of War 4 this entire right. time, too. So, like, yeah. that that's a game where they didn't want to fracture the community either and, like, made everything available at certain points. So everybody got to play everything. But if you mm-hmm. bought the season pass, excuse me, you got to unlock it all at once. But eventually yeah. everybody's playing everything. Yeah. So Yeah, and, I mean, that's just what it is. And, I mean, even Nintendo is catching up with, uh, you look at Splatoon 2, and yeah. they, they just announced, you know, like, hey, we're, here's our first single-player expansion. All the multiplayer shit's does, free, though. Does um, does Smash go that way? You think? <sighs> that would be that would be ambitious, so. and I hope so too. Because I would love to just play like one Smash Brothers for the rest of my life. Just, <laughs> well, I don't know just if it's gonna be characters. one, but like the next few years, like if it does an injustice per thing. generation, yeah. maybe. Yeah, for like yeah, for the next generation, like until Switch Two or whatever. Yeah. It comes but out. um, yeah, you on. get one per generation anyway from Smash. I yeah. would love to see Smash. Take a lot from Injustice too, though. Yeah, <laughs> a lot. You're gonna get Mike. You're gonna yeah. get Mortal Kombat this year, by the way. This year? Yeah. We expect. Right. Well, I think I don't know if it comes out this year, but it get, gets announced at E3 without a doubt. Yeah. No, I know. Yeah. So, but uh, I mean, and again, I've said it before. You look at stuff like League of Legends, Dota 2. I mean, even Overwatch. Um, you know, Overwatch mm-hmm. is coming up on its two-year anniversary, and you know, Overwatch League is is coming full storm. 
uh, high viewership on Twitch, high engagement from the yeah. user. Even people that aren't playing the game, you know, yeah. are, are showing up to tournaments. They're, you know, people are making careers out of it. It's, yeah, it's, mm-hmm. it's crazy. You know, uh, I mean, I I think I saw uh, what was it? Um, who was the rapper? Was it Drake? Somebody was playing Fortnite. Yeah, Drake. Yes, yeah, Drake yeah. played Fortnite. And it was, Everyone it cares. It broke like Twitch records. <laughs> it yep. broke Twitch streaming records. Yep. Um, because that's that's how you know pervasive that that game is right now. Um. Mm-hmm. And that's what it's all about. So the other end of the coin, of course, of this whole movement is those other comments from EA, where they're like, "Well, no one wants single player experiences anymore." <laughs> yeah, now, you can you can have both, but the I mean, we just talk the, about single player game in Final Fantasy. Like, the, you can do true. you can yeah, support you can games. Yeah, <laughs> um, but there's... you will get. I mean, you do have like your games coming out from Sony though, which I, I do appreciate them. Mm-hmm. Pushing out like you know God of War, Spider Man, Last of Us. But it yeah. is it's funny to me though, like as much as like you want to support those games and we do the single player like narrative games. But I think back to Horizon and I'm like, I I love the game and we got that one expansion and that. But you can't help but think, oh, that's it now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, part of that that's was... kind of how we've been conditioned now in this games as a service era. Though, like, there's like. There's no sort of even like challenge mode or competitive thing or no I, nothing I think, like that there. Well, I think we're slowly going to see that change because, you know, and, and part of why these games as a service multiplayer games are so lucrative for pretty much everybody, not only the consumers, not only the developers, but the, the publishers as well, is that every time, like, okay, you take Horizon, you take that entire world that they, you know, crafted beautifully. And I, I think it won Best Technology Award at uh, GDC this year. Yeah. That just happened last week. Uh, Zelda took game of the year, um, but that you built this entire awesome, amazing, beautiful, detailed world, and for Horizon Two, are they going to reuse that? Probably not. Mm, so yeah. you just it's like, hey guys, we just spent like four years working on this game, all these assets, all this stuff. We're just gonna, God, can't can't use any of that shit anymore. Yeah. Let's build a, whole, let's do it again, guys. Let's do it again. And yeah. just, at some point, you got to be like, is this worth it? Or you know, could it be like? Well, hey, now she just goes to another continent or another country or whatever, and you just so, add on to that game. So you're saying I think we'll see that eventually. I think so we see that eventually. Saying Microsoft was onto something with this. Um, depending on how they do it, it's all up, it's all about the implementation. Because they've been talking about they've been seeing more games as a service as this entire time, like multiplayer. Right, and I'm not saying like games that. as a service I, is. Bad, I like more of a single player player experience myself, but right, yeah. Right, but it's it's just the fact that Microsoft, again, they tried to go from zero to sixty mm-hmm. yeah. in like a second, just like how they did, with, like you know. Well, they tried to. The, I think uh, they tried to get Adam ahead. The, well, sure, it, it's it's different to be ahead uh, in terms of like, hey, we're going to be front uh, front and center, cutting edge technology, and like, hey, this stuff is possibly you know very anti-consumer in terms of like you look yeah, at like xbox the always well, online no, their, their problem was they're trying to get ahead and and doing this game as a service thing and then just dumping right. everything that they did to right. forget about everything else we're just going right. to focus that, on this exactly you didn't need to do that they needed to right. like they didn't slowly yeah, break. right exactly that's what i'm saying mm-hmm. like instead of going zero to 60 in one second be like all right maybe zero to 60 over the next five years like yeah, you know like, like mm-hmm. bring this into people's like home and like yeah and continue to do your you know your Halos, your Halo, your Gear of War, your no, Halo, yeah. stuff like that. And there's yeah. also, you know, certain principles you got to stick to, as in, like, you can't just release something and be like, oh, we'll fix that later since everyone's connected, which is kind of the beginning of what we talked about in a way. But when you do that, you sort of do lose people. The initial hit is still most of the things. And also, when you set something up that you want to have go on for, like, year or years, you have to set it up a certain way where it's going to actually be sustainable for that long. And some won't be yeah. like, not everything is going to be overwatch and actually have a player base for two years. No, I know. But That's what I'm you, saying. Like, not everything so it, there is an element of risk to this whole idea because yeah, there's, there's only so much, um, to spread, but it, it, that's, you know, before, um, this past holiday season, um, I wouldn't have said PUBG or Fortnite would be where they are. Right now, and I think they said like it took Fortnite five months and nine guys to make Battle Royale because yeah, they, they had uh, everything, they all the assets right. ready and to even, go from mm-hmm. the, their co op, yeah. whatever. And I remember even uh, probably like six months ago when they're you know they they ripped off of PUBG with the Battle Royale mode. I was like, wait, I remember the being on the cover of like Game Informer like 
when the generation began. Because yeah. wasn't this one of the first games that they they well, showed? Well, Cliffy off B the was still working at Epic. Yeah, when, exactly. Right? So, and this game is nowhere near the same thing that it was yeah. back yeah, then. Yeah, exactly. Because we went to a PAX with him at yeah. a panel. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, about it. yeah, and and you certainly you're not going to have not everything's going to be a ma- a mega winner, but uh, the idea is to navigate to profitability. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And and that's why you see stuff like Lawbreakers, Paragon, you know, whatever. Those are all varying levels of failure, um, because it, it just either well, there's going to be wasn't those, like you said, we're going to have that. right. It, it is, and it's, it's another risk. I mean, you're never going to be surefire, but that's the way the industry is heading right now. Yeah, uh, and especially as those single player hundred million dollar plus you know budget games are being released, uh, it's it's really risky because you're dedicating entire studios multiple years worth of time, and if it fails. You have no, there, there's nothing to take yeah. from that. There's yeah. nothing that you can be like, okay, well, at least we have a good base and we have a good foundation uh, where you, you look at, like, again, Diablo 3, you look at the vision, For Honor, you know, whatever, CFEs maybe, um, where it's like, hey, we can we can make this work. We can make this work. It's kind of like, hey, this game is tainted now. It's mm-hmm. it's tainted. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, I mean, we could talk. For we could keep going, this. but I think we're going to wrap it up. <laughs> I think we're going to wrap it up. So uh, thanks for tuning in. Let us know what you think. Um, you can write us podcast on geek dot net. You can follow us on Twitter and um, you know you know message us on there or on Facebook or YouTube even. Subscribe to YouTube and you can chat. You know, make some comments on the channels, on the videos, and just you know let us know what you think of these games as a service. Uh, this is a good model going forward because uh, we're going to get it. So you know, we want to hear what you think, and I mean, we'll all know as we these games come out and whether they sell or not and there are going to be some bombs <laughs> so um we'll see uh so thanks for tuning in tune in next week uh what well, you know well i'm not sure what news is coming out we'll find out later so see you all <laughs> a, lot april fool, a lot of april fool yes news. Be careful. That, is, news. that is coming, coming on sunday news. sunday people so be yeah. careful april fools be careful. is coming all right be careful. you were warned you were warned yes all right